Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of everyone's favorite program, Life's Little Chromants. This week, we'll be turning this useless impulse sound into some nice bubbles. If you have a syntax, maybe you don't know what to do with this. The impulse can be used for lots of things, and it's pretty cool that it's there. And one of the things that it can be used for is bubbles. Start with the bass impulse sound, add some attack to make it a little bit more of a sound. There, it exists slightly. You can leave the polarity in the level, that's fine. Then go to filter and uh, change it to bandpass mode. Everyone loves bandpass. And then change the frequency to 85. If it seems like I'm picking arbitrary numbers, it's because I have them written down. Believe it or not, I don't make these up as I'm doing them. All right, so it's this little high pop. Then add some envelope to make it zoop to the sound. Uh, zoop is a technical term um, for, for that. That's a zoop. Um, and then if you go to the keyboard, you'll see it all sounds the same. What the heck? What's the point of that? So go to the sound menu. Remember the sound menu? I bet you do. Go to the setup, which is a, you know, a rarely accessed menu here of uh, a bunch of useful things that you often forget about. Um, filter key track here. Um, that means that the filter will basically move up and down along with the keys tracking the keys. Uh, so if we set it to 100, that means it's going to follow it as much as it can. Um, let's get out of there. And you notice it at least changes with the keys. It doesn't sound great though, because we're not done. Um, so we're done though on this filter page. Now go to amp. Uh, you can leave the amp, uh, the uh, envelope where it is. Just add some delay. Um, and a bunch of reverb. That's sounding a little cooler. Could use that in something. By the way, if you don't have your delay on ping pong and max width, what are you even doing here? All right, so we're done on amp. Uh, go to LFO and LFO one. Change the destination to filter frequency. And so that's going to change the filter frequency. Change the BPM to 64. Um, you'll probably have to change that depending on the speed of your song. Uh, it might not sound right. I'm at just the default 120 right now. But if you're doing a slower song, you might have to change it, etc. Um, so let's put some... There's no depth on it, so let's put the depth on first so they can hear how things change. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's cool. Ooh. Ooh. We'll stick around 27. And then uh, add some fade. And that around... Well, let's do 26, just to do one less than depth for some reason. Um, and then the wave will change to square. And there you go. Bloop. Them's be bubbles. Well, if you would like those bubbles to instead sound like a drippy cave, well, good for you. We can do that. Um, go to LFO2. Change LFO2 to modulate the um, fade. That's it. The fade of LFO1. And then um, change the depth to about 37. And then the fade on the fade to 16. And then we'll set the mode to half trig. So it only goes once and only half. And um, BPM 8. I believe that I'm also supposed to have it on this. Hello, 
It's me from the future. I messed up. I screwed up the bubbles. The bubbles, they have to be on 64, 64 BPM, and, uh, and, uh, and, and lower the depth a bit. The depth around 22. I don't know how I did that, but anyways. Now, that is awesome. Oh yeah. Do that all day. Well, if you made it this far, maybe you enjoy the video. Uh, if you do, I would suggest highly subscribing to this channel because I do these videos every Thursday and every Monday I do a long cool jam of actual music believe it or not hope you enjoyed and uh, see you next week bye